This is Nonso from Dr. Azuka. Oh, hi, Nonso. I've been expecting your call. Hmm. Can we meet? Sure, why? Um, today, 5 p.m. Uh, uh, listen, I, I understand if you think it's too early, okay? Um, but I figured since we both, you know, want something in common and we can help each other, you know, satisfy that want, there is, <sighs> there's no point in, in waiting. Okay then. Um, one more thing, okay. Uh, what color of dress would you be wearing? I mean, it will make things significantly easy for for me, for us. I haven't. Okay. Um. Let's see. A black dress and a blonde hair. Yes. All right then. Thank you. All right. See you soon. It is obviously clear that you've totally forgotten the kind of man you're married to. I think maybe a witch doctor appeared to you in your dream and erased your memory. You've forgotten the kind of person you're married to, Abby. No troubles. Just for the records, Chief is coming back this evening. He called me. So I can pay this if you can you help me get my purse in the car. I forgot to pay it. Why didn't you do the car? Yeah, um, I, I was hoping that I would catch you before you, but I, I, got, I got delayed by, um, may, may I sit? Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Sit. <laughs> I don't know, but, um, uh, sorry, I haven't done this before, um. Done what? Blind dates. <laughs> <laughs> well, if someone was to keep tab of all the blind dates I've been on, I'll be blind. Oh, okay, so so that means I'm, I'm sitting with a pro. I guess I'm nervous right now. Nervous? Yeah. Is that what you tell your victims to disarm them? No, no, not exactly. Um... Thank you for agreeing to do this. You just resurrected something that was dead in me. If only you knew all the dead things you just resurrected in me. Oh, Stella. 
of my car key. You can go now. But I, I don't have transport money. One key. Who's she? Who's My house elf. Oh. <laughs> so, what are you drinking? Um. Waiter. Who is this? Waiter. Jesus! Jesus! Oh, Jesus! You don't know your Jesus anymore, eh? I have, I have now become Jesus. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Where is hope? Hope. I... I uh, no we 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 went to the pharmacy. Yes, the pharmacy. We went to the pharmacy. So on our way back, um, her Efe, her cousin Efe, called her that there was an emergency. So she had to go. Then I came back with a taxi. And what was that emergency for? It's an emergency. The phone was not on speaker, so I I don't know. You see, just imagine the contrast of affinities you're subsuming in one contiguity of a fallacy. An emergency. The phone was not on speaker. You're a professional liar, you know. Why don't you try lying for a living? Uh, Chief, I've never lied in my life. Oh. oh, thank God I'm a virgin. I have never touched a woman in my life. You, come here, come here, come here, come here. Round, 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 round. Yes, exactly. Now, you that would go to a party wearing an ordinary house coat, you wore this cove-revealing, covetous, volume. Mendacious dress to a pharmacy to buy ordinary drugs. Chief, I, 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 I haven't worn this dress since I got it, so I just thought to wear it today. You see, I would have believed you. I would have believed you to my own chagrin. But I don't believe you. You know why? Because I know you. I know, I know your mendacious, insidious, invidious, malicious, and malware attitude. And you know, if it were not for my goodness, you would be behind bars paying for some of this. Hmm? Why are you looking at me like that? You have some opposition? Hmm? Say something? Uh huh. I, I, I thought you didn't say anything. You. Call hope. If you love hope, call hope. Otherwise, this house will not contain all of us.
it's really late. I I lost all sensation of time because I was being entertained by the most interesting personality I have seen in a while. One more compliment like that, and I'll make sure both of us get married before <laughs> the end of the day. I mean, this is the the first time I'm meeting someone with so much vibe and freedom in our, in our condition. <laughs> I don't want this to end, and neither do you. You're really something. You know, anyone who has been made to endure what I've endured must really fight to be something or be swallowed by something. Yeah, I know I can relate to what you're saying, you know. When I was depressed, I thought I was gonna die. Because of fear. And then there comes the fear of intimacy. But then when I heard about you and I was told I could meet you, someone that's a suitable match, it was then I knew heaven was smiling at me. Yes, a suitable match. <laughs> that's what I am. The perfect match. <laughs> You know, I never knew that one's hair could have this much effect on you. Oh, please. I've seen hair. Better <laughs> hair. <laughs> but you? You're heavenly. Mm -hmm. You're perfect. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, tell me, so mm -hmm. how old are you? Why do you want to know? Yeah, because I want to know. No, why do you have to tell me why you want to know? Ah, come on. You know, I, I knew you were going to argue. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you why I want to know. I want to know because you act like a child who has no single care in the world. I have a lot of cares in the world, trust me. Mm. But today, I choose not to focus on those cares. So what are you focusing on today? My happiness. Something I've abandoned for five years. You know, um, I'm not saying this to be any form of consolation, but our condition did make our path cross. For that I am forever thankful. Me too.
chief. You want to fight me? You're here sleeping when hope is not yet in this house. Are it's, you cerebrally challenged? It's not connecting. Then try it. Keep trying. Try and try and try until it connects. You have no other work in this house. Try it until it connects. You want some more cold water? It's not connecting. Keep I've been trying. trying. Keep trying. Make sure it connects. Amalgamated disasters. Ingrates, women, all of you. Make sure it connects and make sure she comes home. You stupid girl. What are you looking for? Oh, I, I thought you would never wake up. <laughs> Good afternoon, dear. Afternoon? Yeah, it, it's past 12. What? And you didn't wake me? I, I didn't know I was supposed to wake you. I'm sorry. I mean, you, you look too peaceful in your sleep. I didn't want to disturb you. It's okay. You don't have to be sorry. I, I really didn't want to wake up. You have an appointment to catch up with? Yes, I've got an appointment with the devil himself with the two sharp horns. He's coming back from Abuja today. Oh, really? Uh, good luck with your sharp horn devil, okay? But I'm just going to be here all through today. Yeah, I'm looking for... Uh, my, my SIM card. Oh, yeah, 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 you lost your SIM. But, uh, How about all the numbers? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, but you, I mean, if I have just one person's contact, I don't care about the rest, then that person is you. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get get a paper, so you on a pen, so you write your contact before you leave, okay? Sure. All right then. Uh, yeah. Uh, where's my juice? Um, somewhere I don't know. What happened to your phone? I don't know. Look at your eyes. Do you sleep? What happened to your phone, I beg? I don't know. Chief is back. What, what did you tell him? I told him that uh, you had to go to your cousin Efe on our way back from the pharmacy. So just maintain the same thing. Okay. Okay. Are you sure? Just calm down. I'll tell him the same thing so that he will not just find out. Johnny Walker, I have heard your voice. You're back. Welcome. Show your face. Good day, good afternoon, good morning, honey, good morning. So, you have the temerity now to sleep outside my house? No, it's not temerity, it's, uh, it, it, it's Ife. Ife had a miscarriage. Oh, so sorry, quite pathetic. I hope you helped her recover her pregnancy. Huh? Isn't that the reason why you slept out of my house? and at her place, so you could help her recover the pregnancy? Chief, she was down. She needed emotional support. Oh, my bad again. I, I, I forgot completely. President of the Emotional Supporters Club. So you went to emotionally support her. It, it, it's all right. It's all right. You've grown wings now that you can... By the way, where's your phone? I, 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 I forgot it. Upstairs, upstairs. Ah, I see, I see. Very good. By the time I'm done with you today, your amnesia will dissipate. I assure you.
अभी तो लोग आगू दिच्छे किसे? स्टेनलाइस स्टेनलाइस। बेल्ट। अरे गो गुगा गुगा गो गो। Don't stop. You want motivation? Motivation? No chicken motivation. I'll get that detective for you. You get fine, babe. Oh yeah. Don't fall. Don't talk. Don't do that. Go. You're doing well. If only I knew in the case of Chief Odemego that the devil I know is worse than the devil I did not know, I would have chosen jail a million times over. He derives pleasure in causing me so much pain, like, like my entire existence belongs to him and, and nothing more. I will take solace in my newfound happiness. Nothing is going to take it away from me. Stella, what's wrong? Ah, nothing, no, I'm fine, ma. Ma, come on now. Is it because of what I said there? yesterday. I, I didn't mean to now. You know, it was just an impulsive act. Please, ma. I'm supposed to be apologizing here for forgetting my place. Stella, you know, you know I don't see you like that. Please forgive me. I, I'm sorry. You're my only friend in this cold world. Listen, if you continue to frown, eh, you have more wrinkles than you already do. I do not have any wrinkles. Yes, you do. Please, I don't. Let me show you. Don't touch me. Let me show you. He's so sweet and and gentle and and, and young and manly. I only have one word for the man you married. Savvy. Listen, Stella, I am not going to stop seeing that guy no matter what he does to me. He's perfect. He's sweet. You slept with a guy. You slept with a guy. Shh. How could you? You're a married woman. Shh. What were you thinking? Good sex. Good sex, that's what I was thinking. And besides, my marriage is not, is, not, is, not, is not really a marriage, if you know what I mean. I was forced into it. And you'll be forced out of it and into prison if you don't take time. He will kill the guy and frame you up for his murder. I don't care. <sighs> Careful, then. You're beginning to sound like his first wife. Right before she committed suicide. I can't um, I can't really hear you. Um let me um let, let, let me let me redial your number. Dro really... Don't drop that call. Don't drop that call. Don't drop that call. Bring it. Smooth criminal. So you have dropped it. You have dropped it. She, she dropped by herself. She just dropped it. Were you expecting this call? Were you expecting this call? You put it on flight mode. I was the one that put it on active. I played the fast one on you. I put, I put it on flight mode because I was, I was just trying to, I was supposed to follow if to the hospital today for a hospital appointment and, and I disappointed her. Uh, that's why you put it on flight mode. You haven't told me when you became a pilot to put your phone on flight mode. Now you say it's FA. Let us believe it's FA. Next time you put this phone on flight mode, you tell me when you went to aviation school. Nonsense and the ingredients in the nonsense. You will see. 
contemplating suicide. Good morning, Stella. Good morning. I know you've always been sad, but these past days have been something else. You're heartbroken. I was only 19. I was still a virgin. I didn't have my chance with love. And now you think you do? I have a connection with him. It's like a tangible connection. Tangible? Until he finds out you are an impersonator. I'll explain to him. I'm sure he'll understand. He likes me. Please say something. I've lived with Chief through his three marriages before you came along. I know and I've seen what he's capable of. He might seem unserious, but dangerously unserious. So you better stop that madness before it consumes you. You know, four nights ago, I was expecting to meet someone whose sense of romance had died. Judging by what I was told, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's your problem? You're my problem. Did you, did you just pull me out of a busy day in the field to watch you sleep? I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were busy. I never do that. Do what? I apologize for taking my time. I'd rather be with you than anywhere else. I feel at peace with you. Um, you know, this would not take away whatever it is that is bothering you. Who said anything is bothering me? Oh, okay. <laughs> but just so you know though, I, I accepted it the very first day I met you. So I'll just make something for us to eat and uh, take it easy on the alcohol. It's not good for you. <laughs> Alright then. Please be careful, oh, don't cut me. I am very sure who oh, Pastor did cheating around. Hey! I'm sorry. What Chief. is it? I'm sorry, Chief. I'm sorry. You want to kill me because? I'm sorry, Chief. Because I told the truth? I'm sorry, it was just a slip of hand. Sleep yourself and kneel down there. Kneel down there! Ah! I'm sorry. You're sorry? Raise up your hands. Raise up your hands and close your eyes. Ah. They say a fool at 40 is a fool forever. Now, a fool that is coming up to 50, I don't even know how to quantify it. I'm not up to 50. What was that? Eh? Look at you. At your age, you're not married. You don't have children. And you want to continue in that life. 
Now you have started teaching my innocent hope how to sleep around. Eh? I don't have anything to do with that. So. Aha, you see? <laughs> you see? So she's sleeping around. So she's sleeping around. No, 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 eh? no, Chief. No, that's not what I, I meant. I, 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 I meant to say I have nothing to do with your suspicions. Mm. In fact, in fact, get out of my sight. Get away! And, and look, look, look. Make sure, in fact, as it is now, I don't want to remember what I have forgotten. Leave my sight. And remember to get me my food, though. Get me my food. At least that's the only thing you can do well for now. Let me be managing you in that department until you now become useless in that department, too. Yeah. So, hope is sleeping around. We shall see. to bring my food. You come here to stain the whole kitchen with your crocodile tears. Hey Stella, look, make sure you clean up this place after, 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 after this your exercise. And make sure I don't wait for my food, okay? Darling, mm -hmm. please, uh, I want you to go downstairs and wash that my black jeep for me, the latest one. That's what I want to drive tomorrow morning to go and see the Minister for Information. But Musa is there now, he can wash it. Why can't you wash it? Has it become a difficult thing for a husband to ask a wife to wash a jeep? Ordinary jeep, or not a trailer. Okay, can it at least wait till tomorrow morning? I am exhausted. Exhausted? From the farming you have been farming since morning, or from the concrete you've been breaking since morning? Eh? Look, thank your stars you are married to a rich man. If you have been married to any of these starry eyed weather beating boys who just want to impress, by now you'll have done the real meaning of I am exhausted. My friend, go, down, go downstairs and wash the jeep for me. Chief, I am your wife and I have rights too. Eh, uh -huh, now? Uh -huh. I said it. Something has changed. Uh, so you cannot challenge me, eh? Uh, I'm not challenging you. All I'm saying is that I'm your wife and you shouldn't treat me like a slave. Hey, well, and what are you? What are you in the first place? Are you better than one? Look, look. Uh, is that so? Uh, yeah. Come here, come and sit down. Come and sit down here! You want to take the order now or you want to take it inside the prison? What are you doing? I'm sitting down. Sit in the air! In the air now. Get up. Sit in the air. There's no chair in the air now. You don't know how to sit in the air. Sit in the air. Bend it down. Bend it down. Take a steering. Drive. Drive. Better. What more nonsense, women? Eh? Ungrateful, ungrateful lot. Sit in the air. Whatever you do, they will steer away. What, what, what is all this? Even the Musa you're talking about, are you better than him? I said drive! You will be driving like that for only 30 minutes. So. Only 30 minutes. Because I still want that jeep to be washed this night. Otherwise, you'll be driving like that tomorrow morning. Ha! Thundering typhoons and blooming satellites. Look, look. Go down a bit more. A bit more, a bit more. <laughs> And then take the stair and directly in front of you. Better. That's better. But what if you fall? Drive, oh. Drive. Now drive, drive, drive. Good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. Imagine. 
No, 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 baby, don't cry. You know, I don't like to see you cry. I love you so much. Drive, 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 drive. Don't cry so you can see the windscreen clearly. That's my girl, good girl. So, did you wash the Jeep very well? Huh? Uh -huh. All right, please massage me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ah, good girl, good girl, good girl. That's a good girl. Mm. Hey, what? Good girl, oh. Eh? Hey, what? Take it easy now, eh? It's a... Hey! It's hey! a good one, oh, but... Uh... Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Hey, Hop. Hop. Oh, hop, hop. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Yes, it's okay. It's Thank you. You want to give somebody hope? Ah! ah! It's enough. It's enough. Wait, wait. Eh? Hey. What would you like to have for breakfast? Um, bread, egg and tea. Okay. Stella. What's wrong? Nothing. Stella. What's wrong? It's your husband. He had me nailed down because he thinks I'm the one misleading you. I warned you against this madness. He made me sit in the air for 30 minutes. Then he made me wash his car. Then I came back into the room tired, thinking I was going to just fall asleep. At least rest. Then he asked me to give him a massage. As if that was not enough. When I finally came to bed, he he put his big head on my stomach all night. So Stella, you see that madness you're talking about? That, that is the only thing that keeps my sanity intact. He's suspecting you. He has always suspected me. But what happens if he confirms that his suspicions are actually true? I'm willing to take my chances. When a man loves a woman. I'll give it another shot. Well... <coughs> <laughs> Keep going. All right, good. When a man... Who is this one that is spoiling my my way? Can well, I say your phone? Alright. Okay. Yeah, hello. Oh yeah, um, how are you doing? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, fantastic. But but did you did you give him this my new line? Great, nice, nice one, nice one. Yeah. Noted, okay? Alright then. Yeah, but, but I'm getting a welcome back tomorrow though. Okay, I see. All right then. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, bye. All right then, sir. So what if you find your old sim? You'd have lost all your contacts. Hey, come on. It's, it's been nine days now. That sim, I'm not sure it wants to be found. You know what? I'll help you look for it. You know I'm not going to bother you with that. No, no, no. I insist. But not today, though. On my next visit. Okay, that's fine. Um, well, is this something you'd like to talk to me about? Something you feel I do not know? Like, like what? Like, um, I mean, why weren't we married? Is that not the whole point of the blind date? 
<laughs> well, you haven't proposed to me now, have you? Uh, that's because you haven't given me or you've not shown me the green light. I, I just feel like a booty call all the time. You don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Ever since I set my eyes on you, I wish we were married. Yeah, so there is nothing stopping that wish from coming to pass. You know what, just give me some time. Let me tidy things from my own end. Okay. I trust you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. <laughs> Please stop. Before you say that you're a booty, I'm, I'm uh, booty uh, call, uh, or you're a booty uh, uh, call. What, what's that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you spend exactly 3 hours 21 minutes in the bank? Ordinary bank. There was a queue. Of course I knew you were going to say that. So I went to the bank myself. In fact, my account officer said he paid you immediately, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, 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 um, I went to my cousin's place from there. It's the name. I just caught you red-handed in your lies. I didn't go to the bank. But I knew that once I lie, I will, I will catch you. So I used the lie to catch a lie. <laughs> Hey! Hope, hope. Anyway, I hope you brought my money. Yes. And it's complete. Yes. Wait, how am I even sure it was your cousin's place? Chief, please, let me call my cousin so you can just confirm from her that I, I went to her house. After two of you have agreed on the lies, you will tell me in case I call. Hmm? Call him and die, call him and bury her. <laughs> Look, my friend, if you like, put fire in your eyes. Can't do me anything. If I cannot bomb, how yes, your eyes will fall to the ground. Huh? <laughs> hope, hope. <laughs> anyway, get inside. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. When you get inside them, Stella bought food. That's what I want to eat. I want you to pound it by yourself. Hmm? Pound it with your own hands. I don't like the one Stella pounded the last time because um, it had a lot of seed and bombs inside. So use your hand to pound it and pound it very well. And I want to eat. I want to eat that fufu with bitter leaf soup. Ufolubo. I want you to prepare it. The leaves are there, raw. I want you to clean and prepare the bitter leaf with your hands. Don't go and use hot water. Don't boil hot water. Don't tell me you were hurrying so that I will eat. I'm not in a hurry. Hmm? So, don't get on my bad side though. Baby Wala Colombo. Baby Wala Colombo. If you shackle my head, I will bumper to bumper. Baby, koi, koi, koi. Baby, koro, koton, koton, pom, pom. He's really breaking me, Stella. That's what he does. He really can make someone think of committing suicide. No, please, don't say that again. You're stronger than a man. And besides, a man had other reasons to commit suicide. I hope I can find a way out. But there's no way out. There is, and I'll find it. You know, Bessie, 
the one before you. She actually thought she could find a way. But she ended up in prison for the same crime that forced her to marry Chief in the first place. Well, at least she's living a free life in there. <laughs> well, let me help you with the fufu. No, please. If he finds out, he'll make me cook another pot of soup. And I don't want that to but happen. But he would never find no, out. It's okay. Let's just go back to your room. Thanks. I appreciate it. What is this? What is this? Hope! Hope! You want to send me to hospital early so that you can have the freedom to do whatever you like, eh? What have I done this time? What have you done this time? Are you sure you are the one that pounded this food? Chief, but you made sure Stella wasn't in the kitchen until I finished cooking. Oh! So you now brought me a rock to eat in punishment for making you cook alone, eh? But this fufu is not hard now. This fufu is not hard. Alright, eat it. I don't eat fufu and you know this. It, it disturbs my stomach. And the last time we checked in this house, we do not waste food. Which means you must eat it. Eat. Eat it. So, what are you going to do? You are actually trying to eat when you have not given me food to eat. Your head is not correct. Get into that kitchen and prepare me some more. And listen, make sure it's not as hard as this rock you just brought. And it shouldn't be as soft as that porridge, the porridge that Stella makes and calls uh, uh, Fufu. Endeavor to see that it's in between, right? Is passworded. Eh? When the sister put in password in her phone. Alright. No problem. I say something is wrong, we shall see. I got phone. Now somebody's calling my phone. That's why I'm holding it so he can call back. Then I'll answer it and you put it on speaker. We'll find out who is calling you. Chief, this is a cell phone. And I, I, I have a right to my own privacy. What is your privacy? Who is calling you? I don't know. You have the phone. How will I know who is calling me? We'll find out who is calling you today. And he's not calling again. Find out. Check, check, check. Where are you going to? I want to go and check who is calling me. If you check it here, what will happen? Why are you rushing inside the bathroom? Check the last missed call. Chief C, my cousin Efe. Are you satisfied now? Efe, your cousin. What does she want again? Huh? That beggar. What does she want? She's to not beg a money. Beggar. She's a beggar. She wants to beg money. It's not, it's not money that she wants to beg. Ah, Chief, why did you marry me now? Is it just to disgrace me at every turn? Where, where is the disgrace? Where is, where is, where is, where is the dis? Where is the grace? Is it not only me and you that is here? Where, where, where is the disgrace? Take. Today is your day. Take. Today is your day.
Ah, uh -uh. where are you going to? I'm going in to lie down. Why? At, at, at this time of the night? What do you mean? Are you a chicken? My friend, come and sit down and come and be rubbing my stomach. Hmm? Good girl, good girl, good girl. You're lucky that I love you. I love you. That is why I overlook all these things that you are doing. Has your upkeep money finished? No. Mm -hmm. I'll stay at 100,000. I'll stay at 100,000. Maybe you go and change this. Eh? I just made my hair. Mm -hmm. And you go to market and buy dresses for yourself. Uh, that's some to Stella. To create room inside your wardrobe. So that I can buy more clothes. I want you to eat my money. I love you. I can't even say thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's maybe do all these good, good things I am doing for you. Till I catch you with another man. That's when you know the level of my madness. <laughs> my darling, my darling. I love you. I love you. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Be, be rubbing me. Yes, it's making me feel nice. Try. Good girl. Is everything all right? You tell me. Have I done something wrong? Listen, I try to be very honest with you, okay? Because I felt that there is no need for me to lie to you. But you have been lying to me. Oh my God. Oh, your God? Huh? Oh, your God, is that what you have to say? Huh? I don't know where to start. Then just begin from somewhere, Sapphire. Begin from somewhere. Why don't you answer my calls when you leave here? What? Alright, I try to reach you on the phone and you don't pick up. And even, even when you do, you just say some things that are incomprehensible and, and, and sometimes you hang up. Are you hiding anything from me? No, 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 no. I'm not hiding anything. It, it's just that my, my family, I, I, I don't want them to know about you yet. Oh, why? You don't want him to know me? No, 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 it's not that. Uh, it, it's just that my past... Like, listen, it, it's your past, that, that's what you just called it, okay? Don't let it ruin the present, don't let it ruin what we have, what, what we're sharing right now. All right, come here. Listen, now, right? I'm here to stay. I'm not going anywhere. Are you sure? I'm very sure. All right, listen, I, I need you more than you need me. Good evening, darling. Where are you coming from? Was it not you that gave me money and asked me to go and shop? Oh, and in doing that, I have committed a crime, right? That you will spend the whole day shopping, forgetting you have a husband to take care of at home. Why would you even spend the whole day shopping? Are you shopping for the whole community? I had a flat tire on my way back. You are a consummate liar. Chief, stop calling me names. I don't like it. Oh! Am I the one you're talking to like that, Hope? You've grown wings, eh? I'm the one you're talking to like that. What temerity. What impudence. What arrant nonsense! Oh my goodness! You're talking, you can talk to me like that now. Now drop all these things and pick pin. When you do what I say, immediately otherwise the next thing that will be punctured are those your glaring eyes when you're facing the electric chair. Pick pin now. What arrant nonsense! Ungrateful amalgamated disasters. Oh, can you imagine? The hubris. The, oh my goodness. What are you doing? You don't know how to pick pin anymore? 
All right. Let me teach you how to pick a pin. Put a finger down. A finger on the floor. Down, 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 down. A finger. That's a leg. And then lift up the other leg. Up. That's how to pick a pin. That's it. Better. Go. I said pick. Remove that finger. Pick. I said pick a pin. Not smash your head. Pick a pin. That's it. The good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Better. Good girl. Stella! Stella! Sir! What's the matter with you? Why are you frowning? This is Thank God is Friday in my house here today. Everybody must be happy. Smile a little. Hey, smile a little for me, Stella. Smile, smile. Come on, that's a good girl. Good. What's keeping hope? She's coming. She's coming. Is it just to wear a costume? You will take her the whole day? But, mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, here comes my queen. Mm. Hey, come back here. Where are you going to? Stand, stand, stand. Part of our party. Stand here! My queen! Are you ready for a strippers club this night? Oh, I love. Turn around, let me see. Turn around, turn around. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, Stella, give us music. Something soft. Baby. Thank God it's Friday. Just smile a little for me. Smile a little for me. That's my girl. All right. Good music. Let's see you dance today. Dance. Say lap dance. Lap. lap, lap dance, yes. Good. Music is wasted. Yeah. Hope. Don't spoil my good mood this night. So I don't spoil yours. Lap dance. Hmm? And the music is wasted. Alright. Do my baby. Alright. Lap dance. This man. No. You don't know how to do lap dance? If I yes, I'm not sure. Shake it, shake, 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 shake. And down. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. So do, do, and down. And then dance down. Down, down, down. down. Um. That's no, that's my girl. Ah, da, da. Oh, oh. Why not you want to kill me? Right. Music is wasted. That's my girl. That's my girl. Wow. Um, you want to send me to the hospital? Eh, no, eh, no. Step forward a bit and then twerk for me. You know, twerking, twerk, 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 twerk. Um, hey, hope, hope. Is this over a dance or something? He's not twerking. Shiva. Shiva, Lord. Shiva. Shiva it. Shiva, yes. Enough. 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 Good God. I'm in a good mood. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you want to twerk a little more? Wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. Wait for me. Chief, where are you going? I'm going with you to the gym. Eh, 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 to gym, gym. To the gym? Yes. Ah, mm -hmm. Chief, but you said exercise is for lazy people. I have changed my mind. Exercise is for everyone. Can't you see? 
go fit. <laughs> Which kind of bad luck be this now? You think me, I will give you the chance to go and meet all those your boyfriends? You're joking. <sighs> Let's go. Oh. Chief, good morning, sir. Yeah, what's that? Your clothes, I'm taking them to the dry cleaner. Why? To wash them, they're dirty. I'm not asking. Why are you taking them to dry cleaner? So when we have someone who has the strength of a horse here, give it to her to wash. Chief, me? Yes, yes. You. you. She, she manufactures energy. You use that squeezing, it's also a form of working out. Give it to her. Use it and test your strength. Yes. You can wash it. You can wash it. You still have energy. Powerful energy. You are a manufacturer of energy. Get out of my way. Oh boy. Take it easy. Trying to. Trying to take it easy. We can't get. Out. We can't get. Out. I gave him a taste of his own medicine, and he could not handle it. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely, of course. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes, I love it. Yeah, of course. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Tell me more. Yes, yes. I'll do it. Anything for you. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just send it to me and I'll handle it. Hmm? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Yes, of course. It's it's done. It's done. I will um I'll give you a call back later. I'll, I'll call you back. Darling, are, are you okay? This one you're holding your head. Do you have a headache? Should I get you medicine? No, no, no. Are, are you sure I should have... Get out! Get out! No, no, no. Sorry, you. Mm. Are, are you sure you don't want me to get you? Okay, no problem. Sorry, eh? <laughs> she thinks she can give me this type of wound and goes cut free. We shall see. Let her come and use. Let me see. Nonsense. To your face. What happened to my face? Nothing. Did you change your product or something? No. Why? Ah. Go and check. You have some reddish stuff in your face. Fire! 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 My 
this. I thought the house was on fire. My face! The, the dermatological component of your skin is putrefying. Are you serious? Yes. It's... It looks horrific. Uh, um, it's... It's peeling. Help me check it. It's looking leprous. Check for me, please. Leprous? What are you doing? To check it's, 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 are you going to infect me? How will I infect it's you, mommy? Your face is healing. Did you stop using your cleanser? How did you know I stopped using my cleanser? If I knew for sure, would I be asking you? Um, you should eat that food fast and go and wash the doghouse. The smell from there. Yesterday night would not allow me to sleep. Alright? Watch the doghouse. This night. Yes, yes. Which other time? No, watch it, watch it this night. Uh, how about Musa? And how about you? Are you not a human being? Ah, you, you, ah, this, this man from that place wouldn't let me sleep. I don't want it to happen again this night. I, I, I can't imagine, I don't even know how you're able to sleep with the smell emanating from there. Chief. I, I don't understand. I, 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 if there's any way I've offended you, just let me know so I can apologize. This is your wickedness towards me. It's unbecoming. Wickedness? Come, let me tell you. The way you're complaining these days makes me feel like you're tired of your freedom. Hmm? If you're tired of your freedom, you just let me know. I, I can help you do the necessary things. So that they will take you where there's no freedom. Please eat that thing, hurry it up and go and watch the doghouse. Okay, you're going to wash the dog uh, place already. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. One mark for you. Hey, 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 where are you going to? Look, use the guest bathroom first and wash off that thing before you now go up to my bathroom. I want you to go and keep me with smell up there. But the bathroom upstairs, I wash it. Uh, then see it as a gesture of love. You wouldn't have to wash it twice. Please, use the guest bathroom first. Can we go over the question once again? I've told you everything. It was an accident. It's just like not telling me anything. You have not said anything meaningful to me. I swear. I swear I've told you everything. It was an accident. Oh, where have you been? I've looked for you everywhere and they asked me to come here and look for... Sorry, young man. Who are you? Good day, sir. Yes. 
My name is Inspector Monday Obasi. And I am here to investigate the death of Mr. Paul Obazele. The man in question was a cancer patient. He was having excruciating pains and pressured his attending nurses to give him euthanasia. He was willing to pay them a huge sum of money, but they all turned him down. Then all of a sudden, this morning, he died of seizure. Upon investigation, it was revealed that Hope here gave him wrong injection. It was an accident. I, I did it. I didn't mean to do it. You, you don't need to convince me, Hope. I know you cannot hurt a fly. Look, um, um, Inspector, look, I, I hope here is like a daughter to me. And um, whenever I'm a patient here, she's the only one I allow to attend to me. But then, of course, you must continue with your investigations. I will not um, obstruct your investigation because you'll be tantamount to obstruction of justice, isn't it? Uh, so, um, but when you're doing that, please bear in mind, put at the back of your mind, that this case is mine now. Sorry, we haven't even met. I am Chief Odibewu, ex-Deputy Governor of my state, ex-Minister of the Federal Republic, ex-Representative in the House of Assembly, and the Senator in waiting. Uh, you understand? Uh, please. But, but then, of course, I, let me not influence your work. Please. Um, you are a good officer. Do your work properly. Please. I'm outside. When you're done, we will meet. Okay, sir. Yes, thank you. Hope, wipe your tears. Allow the policeman to do his job. Okay, I will see you later. Please do your work. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I don't want you to be afraid. I don't want you to be nervous. Okay? Calm down. I didn't do it. I swear, I did not kill him. Like I said, you don't need to convince me. I know you can not hold a fly. Hmm? But uh, any way you look at it, though, this your case looks like messy killing. I would never intentionally hurt anyone. Uh, even unintentionally hurting anyone can come with a life sentence. Look, this is a murder case. No, you can't go to jail. I can't go to jail. <laughs> I'm not even 25. I have not finished school. I have not achieved anything. I kill myself. No, no, how can you kill yourself? Don't talk like that now. Chief of the people can never allow you to kill yourself. Uh-uh. You know I love you. Eh? But you're the one chasing me away. Alright, I will help you. How? You're asking, you're asking me how? <laughs> oh, you don't know who I am in this country. Eh? I am Odimbo Emile. I am the Oga Bata Bata of closed door politics, where the real power is. Just one phone call and you are free. Can you really do that? So come, can you really do that? Look, you are mistaking my simplicity for powerlessness. Eh? Well, I, I move and shake the movers and shakers of such. In fact, I'm about to move your life now. I will move your life now, you will see. If you can do this for me, I will forever be indebted to you. I swear. No, Mba, no. no. I don't like people to be indebted. Who must be free? You don't want it to be indebted. You will do one thing for me. Just one thing. You will marry me. Marry me. I love you. I love you. You are the one just drawing away from me. You will just marry me. And your matter is your problems are over. Both this problem and the problems in future to come, all of them are over. Your life will never be the same again. My Dadalinda. My Pinky and Pecky. I'm sorry. Hmm? It's all right. I'm, I'm sorry now. Mm, please. Why are you sorry? Am I not your slave anymore? Hope I love you. Hmm? I love you. Even though I cajoled you to marry me. I love you and I don't want to lose you as a wife. Alright, alright. 
It's okay if you don't love me anymore. Eh? But at least don't cheat on me. Stop accusing me falsely. I don't like it. It's okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow you go to the dermatologist eh, so they can work on your face. Eh? You don't want to go again? Thank you. That's my queen. Unyinkem. Up now, my pinky and pecky. Uh, give daddy a hug. Come on, go, go. Chai on your cha. Um, um, on my way out, what do I buy for you when I'm coming? Nothing. I will still buy something for you. You will be a surprise. My pinky and pecky. Up now, on your cha. Please now. Cheer up, small. Smile for me. This is my baby. All right, see you. Eh? I'm coming. Nonso? Nonso, where are you? Oh, I'm in the toilet. You? I'm pooing. Have you been? What have you been up to? Um, nothing. Just work. Okay, so Dr. Azuka called. She wants to know how we are doing and uh, she just wants to know how far we've come. <laughs> so, um... What? You don't think it's a good idea? Huh? Uh, I'm, I'm sure. Looking gorgeous as always. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, what, what are you saying? You, you don't think we should see Dr. Asuka? I mean, I think we owe her a thank you. Yes, and, 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 and we'll go on my next um, visit. I just came by to say hello. I, I was on my way to the supermarket. Oh, <laughs> uh, you must have really missed me. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. What, what's that? Um, let's not start what we can't finish. Come on, what do you think I want to start? <laughs> I'll see you later. Like you've seen a ghost. I have seen more than a ghost. I have seen death. What is wrong? What's wrong now? Is my husband at home? No, he's not back from the office. Stop, you're scaring me now. Talk if you want to talk. Ah. It's not so. What? Is he dead? better if he was dead. So what is it? Oh, he has dumped him. He has hepatitis B. Uh-huh. What's your own? If he has... Uh, is Don't you understand? Hepatitis B is the most deadly sexually transmitted disease. It eats up the liver and it causes cirrhosis. And, and, and let's not forget the fact that it has no cure. What does that have to do with you? It's not so now. I've been having unprotected sex with no so. And, and the virus can be transmitted through the semen. What were you thinking? Please, Stella, stop this whole yet and thou attitude. No, but let, I... us, let us concentrate on the fact that I may have a virus inside me that is killing me, that is eating up my entire liver and I may not even live to tell the story. Let's just stay positive. We're not even sure you have it, so? I have put my entire life and the life of my unborn children in danger. 
You can't be sure until we take a test, so stop all this. I haven't been vaccinated against it. This virus lives inside of me now. What am I going to do? I'm finished. You're not finished. Stop it. You'll be fine. See now. You look okay. You're fine. You're fresh. There's nothing wrong with you. And he kept on saying, he kept on saying, our condition. Our condition? How was I supposed to know that the blind date he was on was with someone who had hepatitis B as well? I, I feel you, but I mean, I do not want to say that I warned you. Chief Odumego has killed me. He has killed me. If not this, this prison of a marriage would I step outside? Will I go looking for satisfaction? In the arms of another man. It's okay. Okay. Ah. Why would Sapphire send me just get a message? Oh, call her. Hello? Um uh, Sapphire, why, what kind of games are you playing? Who is this? This is Nonso. What happened to your number? I was angry at first, but after some days, I became worried. I even told Mrs. Azuka to call you, but she said you your number was unreachable. Uh, who is this? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just... I'm confused. Who am I speaking with? Are you okay? Yes, I... No, I, 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 I'm not. Please, okay, you know what? Can I, can I see you? I just want to clarify something. Huh. And you won't stand me up again? No, 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 listen, I, I promise I'm not going to stand you up again, okay? I, I just I just need to clarify things out. Like, I'll send you an address, please. Alright, no problem. Alright, thank you. I've been dreaming this past week. What's what's going on? <gasps> hey, baby, how are you? Huh? Did you miss me? Ah, your wedding ring. Where's your wedding ring? It's not in your fingers. Um, it's in my bag. I'll get it later. Why is it out of your fingers? Where did you go to today? I went to the dermatologist. You're a liar. You're a born liar. You went to your boyfriend's house. And because you didn't want to see, you didn't want him to see the ring, you removed it. I went for a manicure. That's why I took off my ring. Chief, what with all this rubbish about boyfriend? Are you planning to give me one? Is it me you're talking to like that? Eh? Come down from this bed now and kneel down here. Yeah. I will not. Hey! Have you gone mad? Yes. Yes, Chief. I have gone mad of your blackmail. For five years you have dehumanized me and every time I try to speak up, you always remind me of the accidental murder that I committed. You have made me a prisoner of conscience, which is worse than any walls of any prison. So, Chief, if that will make you dig out my file, Please go ahead and do so, because I will gladly die for my mistakes. Is this my house? Stella? Stella? Stella. Sir. What happened to Hope? Or rather, what is happening with Hope? What happened to her? There's a man in her life, right? Chief, I don't know anything. I see. Well, let me ask you a question. This Hope you're covering up for. Does she know 
There's a real story about you. All right. I'll give you two options. Either you tell me everything I need to know about hope, or I will tell the police everything they do not need to know about you. So can you just try sitting down? I mean, how, how could I have made this terrible mistake? I mean, how could I have done this to someone? But it's not your fault. She was the identity thief. How, how do I even explain sleeping with a total stranger without, without a condom? Well, I mean, despite all of those warnings at every turn, how could I have done that? Now you have something to be worried about. Why don't you just call her? That's if she's going to take my calls. I mean, but I, I kept getting those cues, but I was just busy playing romance. Well, since she now has the virus... Or, or not. Well, if she does have it, the whole point of those blind dates was to get a suitable match. I think you should just marry her. And if she doesn't, you know I'm still here till I'm not. <laughs> I would have loved to meet you though. I agree. <laughs> okay, so um, what do you want? Um, do you want alcohol or non-alcohol? You know, 70% of hepatitis B patients die out of carelessness. Engaging in smoking, drinking, and all sorts of unhealthy behavior is not cool. You see, the secret of living healthy with this virus is by living very, very healthy. And that, my boy, is my goal in life. You know, any man who marries you has won the jackpot. <laughs> any man except you. Uh -huh. Because your heart now belongs to that impersonator. So, um, what are you now, a love expert or what? <laughs> <laughs> you serious. Oh. I'm really sorry I couldn't make it on Monday, Doctor. You know, that was my nephew's naming ceremony, and I'm his godmother. Unfortunately, the only mother who tied to I would ever attain. There is someone I would love you to meet. Who's that? Someone like you, single, and if it works out between the both of you, I can help you both have appetites for children. Did he tell you he's looking for your wife? He didn't have to. People's needs get glaring at times. Doctor, I really appreciate everything you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do, but then I don't want to get my hopes all high again and then get it shattered. I've seen a lot of disappointment, please. So now what do you want to do? Give up on your search for happiness because of your fear for disappointment? Come on, let it come. You must fight for yourself. All right then, give me my number. You both make great couple. Mm. <laughs> it's going to start. Here you go. Yeah. Hey. Sorry. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So, minus taking alcohol. What else isn't healthy for people in our condition? You're going to tell me anyway. Thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. You should have seen yourself a few minutes ago. Ah, come on. <laughs> ah, ah. I'm sorry for what happened. Uh -uh. Stop apologizing. It's not your fault. So what are you going to do now? Uh, well, I don't know. One thing I'm sure of is that I'm not giving up on my search for happiness. You should eat. Well, I don't plan to die hungry. <laughs> Do 
The other day, you asked if I was a victim. I was 21, a university undergraduate, having sex with her aunt's husband. <laughs> you. I, so, I, sorry, I don't mean to judge, but Stella, the perfectionist. How? I guess I wasn't perfect back then. I made some bad choices. So did your auntie find out? In a very spectacular way. My aunt's husband had a heart condition. And he died on top of me while <laughs> having sex. Sorry, it's not funny, but why didn't you tell me? I tell you everything. You have nothing to be embarrassed about. So how did the devil come into the picture? The devil came and saved the day. He said he would help me if only I accepted to become his mistress. My aunt was breathing fire down my neck. She had sworn to make sure I go to prison for murder. A crime I didn't even commit. I was terrified. So I accepted. He made some calls and no one ever asked me about it again. My aunt tried to follow up, but after a while she gave up. Chief Odemego is very connected. So, you became his mistress for life. We stopped having sex seven years ago. Said I was too old. But still won't let me go. Well, at least you don't have a medical condition. I mean, I have hepatitis B. But you know who else has it now? The devil himself. So my darling, eat and let the virus fight our battle. What is the meaning of this arrant filthiness and infantile insipidity? Hope. Something took away your fears and that thing is doing you more harm than good. Anyway, I am going to Abuja and I'll be away for five days. Time enough for you to reconsider your ways and the consequences it will bring to you. Otherwise, when I come back from Abuja, I am coming with hell. It can't be hotter than it is already. Oh yeah? Well, it's going to get hotter. Because it is about to get hotter. You will see. You will see. Come in.
coming. I have a confession to make. Why are you staring at me like that? You said you have a confession to make. I was not the one you were meant to meet on your blind date that day at the restaurant. I stole the actual person's identity. Is that so? <laughs> You knew? Of course I did. What were you thinking? Why didn't you say something? Why did you let me have sex with you? I, I just found out myself. And, oh wait, how did you even know about my condition? I saw your test result and, and please stop calling it a condition. Call it what it is, hepatitis B. If you had told me on the first day, I, I wouldn't be in this mess right now. You know what, I, I think you should just sit down. So you see, me stealing her identity was my escape from reality. Little did I know that I was creating a completely new reality for myself. So do you think that it's too late to start taking the um, post-exposure prophylaxis? Well, I, I really... Just a minute. has been feeding you with madness. See, uh, honestly, I, I, I swear to God, I, I, I didn't know she's married. I, I, I didn't know. You love her, don't you? All right. So today, you die for her? No, 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 no. No! Today, both of you die for each other. Oh, yes, yes. I mean, Chief. since you've decided to play Romeo and Juliet, you'll die like them. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. And and you, 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 who? Oh, you're a grateful person. Right? After all I did for you, saved your life, this is how you pay me back. Yes. This is how you pay me back. You did not. And besides, if you shoot us, the police will come for you. Well, not when I make it look like a robbery gone wrong. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. okay. If, 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 you, if, you, if you let me go right now, I, I, I swear, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go near your wife. I'll, I'll leave her, please. It's a little bit too late. So, okay, now, who dies first? Okay. You? 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 Stella, what have you done? Stay here. The police will come for you. Stella. Stay here. Stella. Stella, he's dead. I didn't shoot him to leave. Please. Stay there. Don't move. Who are you calling? The police. Stella, please, they will make me pay for it. I'm turning myself in. Come, stay there. Come to, to number five, Boulevard Estate, Aja. Someone has been murdered there. Stella. Stella, they will make you pay. He tried to find out the truth from me. When he, he talked about his trip to Abuja, I knew he was up to something. So, I followed you here, just in case. He was trailing you. For 20 years, I had nothing to live for. No husband, no kids. And then you came into the picture. I thought to myself, 
I had to live for something. I would live for hope. If you had died today, I would go back to having nothing to live for. So whatever happens from now on, at least I know I gave someone a life. That's more than enough for me. <laughs> 